What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer and welcome to another video. Today's topic of discussion is attack order and speed requirements. Shouts out to my boy Cole, he says, I always have a hard time understanding attack order and speed requirements. Could you really do, or, or could, excuse me, could you do a really in-depth explanation of this? So um, I thought this would be a great break off uh, from the failing Necro video because we, you know, we talked about the, you know, the three most important things, you know, your monster's not going in the right order, you're not getting en enough attacks, and you're not getting enough damage. Um, but I, I feel like a lot of players don't really understand what it, what it means or, you know, to really optimize your attack order or really fine tune the speed requirements of your Necro team. Uh, so we will get a little bit more in depth so you guys can kind of get a grasp on the basics. Now in other dungeons like Giants and Dragons, it's not really that important what order your monsters go as long as you basically, they all have a certain speed, etc. However, you know, obviously attack order can help those particular dungeons, but it's more important uh, when you're paying attention to Necro because you have so much, or not really so much, but you have certain things that you need to get done before you can be effective in the necropolis okay so let's talk about that a little bit so as you guys have probably heard or maybe googled or read on reddit or you know whatever um there's a soft cap of approximately 130 speed in necro v10 so what does that mean exactly when you guys are looking at necro well what that means is when you guys are getting into necro you guys are fighting your way through um there's a speed gap, meaning your units can't go above a certain speed. So that approximate 130 speed-ish is about where your units are going to cap at. Whether they're 5,000 speed or 100 speed, you know, that's typically where you're at. Now, with that being said, now the tricky part about that 130 speed cap is um, you can still have all of your entire team faster than that speed cap. However, they'll still stop at that point. But your attack order, okay, so let's let's pull up some units here. Your attack order, okay, is determined by the specific speed of your monster. So let's say I have Stella here at, um, let's say we're using Stella Necro. You know, obviously we're not going to do it because her, the number of times she hits is based on her speed. Um, but let's say Stella here is at 200 speed, okay. Uh, my girl Stella's on a swift blade right now, but um, say she's at 200 speed. And then her, the comparison unit that we're comparing her against is going to be uh, let's say Poseidon here who's at 156. Uh, now, all that means is when you guys are looking at speeds, Stella is going to act first, okay, then Poseidon. So if I wanted Stella to go first to break defense and then I wanted Poseidon to do damage, then I would make sure that Stella is faster than Poseidon. Now let's say I was using both of these units in Necro. Even though the speed cap is still at about 130, the attack order is not affected. So Stella will still go first, then followed by Poseidon. Does that make sense? So um, with that being said, when you take your team and you're trying to optimize your attack order with Necro, you're looking at a situation where, um, again, the technique I like to use is to count how many attacks are going down before my damage dealers start to deal damage. Does that make sense? So um, I'm looking at, all right, so I have, I got a pink pony, I got a yellow pony, and a red pony, okay? And these are all my multi-hitters, okay? So my pink, yellow, and red pony need to attack a certain amount of times, at least seven times, before I have my defense breaker hit so I can land the defense breaker and then my attacker. Does that make sense? Because then if at, at that point, they're going to go, my pink, yellow, and red pony will probably get another turn um, before the boss goes, and then they'll apply all the negative effects and all that stuff that I need, and then we go. Does that make sense? So if I'm optimizing their speed, and I'm looking at their attack order, I'm looking at my color ponies, I'm like, all right, which one do I want to go first? Let's get the pink pony first, so she's going to be, let's say, 200 speed. And then I want the other, the yellow pony to go second, and then that's going to be 190 speed. And then um, the next pony after that is going to go 170 speed, right? And then everything will just fall in line after that, after that 170, now I go 160, 150. Right now, everybody falls in order like a domino effect. So every single time, no matter what goes on, no matter what happens, my attack order is consistent uh, throughout the entire run. So when you're positioning your units, um, you just want to make sure, especially in Necro, um, that your faster units with the multi hits go first. Um, you know, as a basic way. Of course, there are more strategies to this, but this is a sim uh, the the most simple way I found is to make all of your support and all your multi hitters go first, even if they are dealing damage to go first to get that shield down and then your most the damage saturation or the unit that has the most damage or the most effect on the fight is typically going to go last after your defense breaker so all, the, all your ponies get your ponies room let, let's go defense breaker once your defense breaks 
Uh, once you have them on defense break, then boom. Then your uh, then your attacker is going to go, and um, you know that's that's one of the simplest ways to kind of look at it here. Like um, you know when you're setting up your necro team for the first time because things can be tough. Um, it's really frustrating when you're especially after you've had all your units already built basically for giants and dragons, and you're like crap. Now I got to move all my runes around. Um, it can be tough because you have to position um, your units with the right speed to make them work. However. One quick way to get around that, guys, is start with your defense breaker. So, like, if Belle is your defense breaker and she's at, um, you know, let's say she's at 160 speed, 107 speed, um, worst case scenario, she's at 200, then, <laughs> then you could slow her down a little bit. Like, you know, let's say run Bella at, like, 160 and then just have your multi-hitters at 170, 180. I mean, that's what I did. And then that way, I, it, it, it's a lot easier to keep your attackers, like, main attackers slow because you guys know speed subs are hard to get anyway. So it's easy to have your attacker slow so they're already going to be slow and just work on speed tuning uh, your multi-hitters and your defense breaker. Once you have those speed tuned, the rest is pretty much easy because, again, on attackers, like, especially if you're not paying attention to speed and you know how lucky Com wants us to be with speed rolls, it's easier to just start from your defense breaker. So... Have your supports faster than your defense breaker and your attackers slower than your defense breaker. And all in all, you guys will be successful really in, 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 in fine-tuning and really paying attention to how the attack order or how the speed optimization works in your team. So hopefully um, I was able to answer the question that you had, buddy, uh, you know, with... Uh, you know, Necro and kind of setting up your speed tuning and, and, and optimizing your attack order, essentially. Um, and... Um, that's it, man. So uh, if you guys have any questions at all about attack order speed optimization, I know there's some exceptions to the rule like Leo and stuff like that. Um, but after Leo goes, basically your attack order goes back to the same thing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the box below, and I'd be happy to assist. And with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video, and we will see you guys next time. Peace.